hey, you guys all hear me all right? I'm good? Okay, all righty, hello. All right, hello, Miss Atkins. All right, hey, hey, friends, what's going on today? How you guys all doing? Good, all right, good is good. I thought, uh, I thought we could have some fun today. You guys wanna have some fun? You guys, are you, are you sure? I can do boring if you guys want boring. Boring? Super, super boring? Painfully boring? Excruciatingly painfully boring? No? Okay, good. I'm much better at fun anyways. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do fun. All right. Hey, I got a song for us to start. Let's start with a song. And this song, this song is all about what this dude back here is doing. What's this guy doing? Smiling. So everybody, I know you got your mask on, but you know what? Put a smile on your face. It feels good. It does. Because when you're smiling, hey, when you're smiling, yeah, that whole world, it smiles with you. Hey, and when you're laughing, oh, when you're laughing, yeah, that sun, it comes shining through. Hey, but when you're crying, you'll bring on the rain, so stop your sighing and be happy again. So keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, yeah, that whole world, yeah, smiles with If it's something you like, you're welcome to clap those hands. Let me know you liked it out there. Let me know. All right. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, you know what's smiling? You know, it seems to be harder and harder nowadays right now to keep a smile on people's faces. But you know what? I don't blame people. You know, it's a tough time for lots of people out there. But, but there are things that you can do for yourself that will help keep a smile on your face. And that is what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about this right here, sharpening the saw. All right, so you might be wondering, what is Mr. Quadra talking about, sharpen the saw? I know you can take a saw, right? You can sharpen it and then it cuts stuff, all right? Well, that's not exactly what I'm talking about today. I'm actually talking about one of these. It's one of the seven habits of highly effective people, all right? There are seven of them, all right? We do not have time to talk about all seven of these, all right? But we do have time to talk about number seven, sharpen the saw, all right? All right, all right. Hey, now before I get into what it is and how to do it, I need you guys to do something for me. Will you guys do something for me? All right, you don't even know what it is and you're ready to do something for me. That's great, I like to hear that, okay. All right, here we go. Whenever you hear this sound, when you hear this sound, I want you to say sharpen the saw, all right? So whenever you hear this sound, you're gonna say sharpen the saw, all right? So hey, let the classroom next to you hear it. Let Mr. O in his office hear it, all right? So when you hear that ding ding sound, you're gonna say, sharpen the saw, all right? So here we go, you ready? One, two. Oh, that's it, wait, wait, that was the wrong sound, that was a rooster, you don't have to say anything with that sound, all right? Hey, let's try it again. Whenever you hear this sound, I want you to say, sharpen the saw, all right? So here we go, one, two. All right, hold on a second, that was a cow, that was the wrong sound. You don't have to say anything with the cow. All right, let's try that again, here we go. Whenever you hear that ding ding sound, I want you to say, sharpen the saw. So here we go, one, two. Nice, nice, all right, here, let's try it again, ready? One, two. Yeah, you know what, I think I heard that all the way in my house over here, very nice, very nice. Yes, now you're probably wondering, why is Mr. Quadro making me yell sharpen the saw? Well, you know what? Let's get into it, y'all. You ready? All right, hey, who's got a body out there? Do you have a body? I got a body, right? Right, I got shoulders, I can pound on my chest, right? I can, I can wiggle my fingers and shake my arms around. All right, I can, I can pinch my cheeks. I can flex my muscles. Right, I can do all kinds of things with it, right? Because friends, that, that is your physical body. All right, and it's important to keep that physical body sharp. All right, hey, does anybody like going to the playground every once in a while, playing around a little bit? Yeah, all right, how about uh, ride your bicycle? You like riding your bicycle? Yeah, how about, uh, how about, I don't know, playing sports, soccer, basketball, volleyball, lacrosse, you know, baseball, yeah. All right, so when you're doing those types of things, when you're running around on the playground or running around out there on the soccer field, guess what you're doing? 
you're getting exercise and that helps keep your body sharp, all right? Hey, who likes pizza? Yes, yeah? Anybody like french fries? Who likes french fries? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, nobody likes ice cream, right? No one likes ice cream? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Give me some ice cream, I'll eat it up. Look, I love pizza, I love french fries, and I love ice cream, but should you eat those things every single day? No, yeah, you might be able to get away with it for a little while, but eventually your body is not gonna like it, all right? And that's why it's so important to eat right, all right? You wanna get those vegetables, you wanna get those fruits, you wanna get those whole grains, and you know what you wanna drink lots of? You wanna drink lots and lots of water, all right? Your body wants it, your body needs it, your body craves it. Friends, friends, we live in a desert out here. It dries you up like a raisin. All right, so hey, drink that water, lubricate that body. You're gonna feel good because of it, all right? Hey, who likes getting some sleep every now and again? Yeah, you know what, I, don't, I do my best to get my eight hours a night, but usually it's like six or seven, but I got a kid, that's the way it goes. But you all, you guys need like eight, nine, 10 hours of sleep a night, because what do you feel like when you don't sleep enough? Do you feel good? No, right, you feel tired, you feel heavy, you feel slow and lethargic, maybe you're unfocused and unsettled, you don't feel very good, maybe you get cranky or grumpy and you get mad at things that you don't usually get mad about, all because you didn't get enough sleep, all right? So friends, it's important, get that exercise, eat right, and get some sleep, and if you're doing those things, you know what you're doing? There you go, I thought you forgot there. Yes, you're sharpening the saw, all right friends, Point your head. There is something inside that thing. What is inside of it? Brain. That's right, your brain. And your brain is not just a lump of jelly meant to sit there and do nothing, all right? You wanna, you wanna work that thing out like you're working out a muscle, all right? And the way you do that is by reading good books, is by doing hard puzzles. And I know this says vacation right now and the world's not really allowing that, but you know what? Going outside for a few minutes and sitting in the sun and soaking up that warmth and those rays, that really does your brain some good, all right? So hey, if you're doing these things, reading, doing some puzzles, soaking up some sunshine, you know what you're doing? Yeah, you're sharpening the saw, y'all. That's what you're doing, all right? Hey, who likes hanging out with their friends? Hey, who likes spending time with their families? Yeah, I enjoy those things too. And I know, I know right now the world does not allow us to gather like we're used to. It will come back, but you know what? It's still important. Stay connected with your friends. Stay connected with your family. Hey, and if you feel so inclined, hey, maybe volunteer and help some people who are less fortunate than you are. You know, and if you're doing those things, connecting with your friends and your family, all right, or volunteering, you're helping yourself socially and you're doing what? That's right, you're sharpening the saw, that's right. All right, hey, and hey, some of the other things you can do, you can do spiritual things to help yourself as well. All right, now, this means something different to everybody, all right? To some, hey, it's doing yoga. To others, maybe it's, maybe it's just deep breathing, because oxygen feels good, all right? And hey, maybe it's meditating. To other people, maybe it's going to church or temple and it's praying, all right? So hey, whatever makes you feel connected to this earth, do it, because when you're doing those things, you know what you're doing? That's right, you're sharpening the saw, all right? Hey, I got a story for you. You wanna hear a story? All right, now, now before I tell you the story, I need you to listen to this sound, all right? What is making this sound? Here we go. It's a horse. No, it's not a horse. Lawnmower. No, no, no. It's, uh, it's a go-kart. Mm, go-kart. A motorcycle? Oh, I know, it's a really large, angry bee, right? No, maybe not that, maybe that. Huh. Hmm. No, well, hey, you know what? If you, if you were thinking something along these lines right here, yeah, that is the sound of a chainsaw, and right? And this person right here, she's a lumber jill, all right? And this is the story of the woodcutter, all right? So one day, this lumber jill, she applied for a job to become a woodcutter, and she really wanted this job because it paid really well, and she got to work outside. Hey, and the boss was pretty cool, and you all know what? 
She got the job, she got it, and she was so excited about it. She felt so motivated and determined to do the absolute best that she could do. And on the very first day, her boss gave her this super duper chainsaw. He showed her where um, he, wanted, uh, he wanted her to work, all right? And she brought in 18 trees, 18 of them. And she went to her boss and said, check it out, 18 trees. And he was like, Whoa, congratulations, great job today. That's like a, that's a company record, fabulous work today. And she felt fantastic. She felt great, she was like floating on air. She was so just even more motivated and even more determined to do even better the next day. She could hardly sleep that night because she was so excited about working. So the next day she went to work, but she could only bring in 15 trees. And she was like, huh. Well, yesterday I brought in 18 trees and today I can only bring in 15. I wonder what's going on. Well, so she went back home to get some sleep and went back to work the next day. And well, she could only bring in 11 trees that day. And then on the next day, it was only eight. And on the next, it was five. And then on the next day, it was only three trees. And she started feeling feeling not like herself. She started feeling kind of bad. She, she wasn't feeling effective. She wasn't feeling motivated. She wasn't feeling determined. And so she went to her boss and said, hey, Look, I know I brought in 18 trees that first day and today I can only bring in three. I don't know what's going on with me. I feel like I'm losing my strength. And then her boss went, whoa, 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 hold on a second. And he looked at her and he said, hey, when was the last time that you sharpened your saw? And she goes, what, what, what do you mean sharpen my saw? I've been so busy cutting down trees, I don't have time to sharpen my saw. And then she went, oh. Friends, the moral of the story is this. Don't ever get so busy that you don't take time for you, all right? So if you're ever having a day where you don't feel like yourself, maybe you're upset with something, maybe you're sleepy or you're just unfocused, whatever the reason is, take a step back, all right? And do something for you. Do something that puts a smile on your face. If that's riding your bicycle, go ride your bicycle. If that's listening to some music, Go listen to some music or watch a movie, take a nap, eat some french fries, talk to your mom, play with your dad, pet your dog, whatever it is that puts a smile on your face, do it. Because when you're doing those things, you know what you're doing? That's right, you're sharpening the saw, all right? All right, friends, hey, 15 minutes flies by in a flash over here, all right? I'm gonna leave you all with a couple of things right here. All right, so look, we must never be too busy to take time to do what? Sharpen the saw, that's right, all right? So never get so busy making a living that you forget to live a life, all right? Because you get one of them to live, you might as well live it up a little bit, all right? And you know what, hey, hey, keep taking time for yourself until you feel like you again. You know why? Because it's not selfish to love yourself, and it's not selfish to take care of yourself, and it's not selfish to be a happy person. All right, so do, do what makes your soul happy, whatever that may be, all right? Because you know what, friends? Because just like your computer and just like your Wi-Fi, almost everything will work again if you unplug it for a couple minutes, and that's including you, all right? So hey, you know what? Life, hey, life is a gift, all right? And life really is beautiful. And you know what? Every day is so wonderful. And then suddenly, it's hard to breathe. And I've been there before, maybe you have too. And now and then I get insecure from all the pain. I'm so ashamed. But it's gonna be all right if you just remember this, right here. You are beautiful no matter what they say. Hey, and words can't bring In every single way Hey, words won't bring you down hey, So don't you bring me down today Hate all your friends, you are delirious So consumed in all your doom Trying hard to fill the emptiness The peace is gone The puzzle undone But it's gonna be alright Just remember this, right here 
You are beautiful, no matter what they say. Yeah, your words can bring you down. You are beautiful in every single way. Hey, words won't bring you down. Hey, so don't you bring me down today. friends hey I'm gonna leave you guys with this before we uh, we end our class today what you guys are doing this year for school it's a hard school year it's not an easy thing that you guys are doing all right and you know what I, I, I give you all the commendations and all the props and all the world and you know what you guys have you guys deserve this and you earn it give yourself a big pat on the back all right you deserve it you earn it it feels good pat yourself on the back all right hey give yourself a round of applause a round of applause all right you deserve it and you've earned it all right because this is not an easy school year this is a tough school year and you guys are hanging tough and you're doing the best you can in a tough situation all right and you know what that should put a smile on your face, all right? All right, so remember, hey, guess what we got this weekend? A three-day weekend, and you know what that's perfect for? Yeah, it's perfect for sharpening the saw, y'all. All right, so hey, just remember, at the end of all of this, hey, it's gonna make you a stronger and more confident person, and guess what, that's a good thing. That's a great thing, all right, friends? Hey, you guys have a great rest of your day. Have an awesome weekend. Go out there and sharpen that saw, all right? And uh, hey, I'll see you when I can, all right?